Hello everyone, today we will be creating shop drawings without Revit or AutoCAD. Now we are going to go through the project in a Rayon design template, which I will leave the link off in the description. And if you're new to Rayon, you can also watch their demo video in the first link in the description too. So right here, I have a template of a um, kitchen drawing. This is a millwork drawing. And today we're going to go ahead and recreate something similar ourselves. Now, Rayon is a design tool which is web-based and it is super simple and fast to use. So I've gone ahead and uploaded some hand drawings uh, like sketches and also an image as a reference of the kind of kitchen that we will recreate ourselves in Rayon. This is a kitchen done by Tom uh, Blackford, uh, which is the Brunswick West House. So right away, you can see that over here, we have some of the tools that we can use. So first of all, let's use the wall tool. I'm going to click first of all. And as you can see, in just one click, we'll be able to align it either on this side, which is going to be more suitable for us. And then we can go upwards and then close it over just like this. We can also change the thickness of it. So for example, now we can select just this one and let's make the thickness something like 0 0.2. And we can search something like window or we can also go here at the opening. For example, this door, we can just select it and we can drop it right here. And then we can also mirror it to one of these tools here, which are the editing tools. And we can just click once. Now we can delete this one and then move it close to the other door. We can just duplicate it by selecting it, hitting the Alt key and then moving it over on that side. And now we can just change its positioning. And as you can see, we've duplicated this successfully. But we can also go ahead and draw manually some of these lines here at the kitchen. So let's just click once right here and then we can click another time for the line. So I think we can even go ahead here and find uh, the uh, kitchen and we can find something like this which would be a cooktop so we can just hover on it and then we can hold it and now we have it imported cool and then we can also go ahead and find the sink we can just drag and drop it so let's go ahead and draw it as a rectangle uh the actual table here let's go ahead and add some chairs uh let's see so maybe we can add something like this right now we'll take a look at the stylizing so if we just click the actual rectangle of our table here we can go ahead and click add a fill we can also go to hatches where maybe we can find something similar so we can use a wood pattern something like this and then we can also change the scale of it and then we can also rotate it vertically and then we can also go ahead and change the stroke of it so let's go for something basically just like a wood pattern now to make this look even better what we can do is we can duplicate this we can put another layer on top of it we can make this a little bit darker and we can go ahead and send this backward for something like this what we could add is some of these annotations so in order to do that we can just go here we can add a leader so let's go for something like this. Let's just add it like this and let's just type in bridge. Now, Rayon also has all of the layers here super well organized for us and we can organize them ourselves as well. Just that way, if you wanted something uh, collected a lot easier, we don't have to go through the circle and we can turn layers on or off ourselves. If we go here, we can turn off all annotations. We can turn off all dimensions. Now we can also add some dimensions ourselves here. So we could add a dimension, for example, showing the width of the kitchen. Now let's say we wanted to create an elevation. So what we can do is we can basically just uh, copy these and move them right here. Let's rotate it something like this. I will go ahead and choose a rectangle. I will go for the exact width and then for the height, we will go at 2.8 meters. The crazy good thing about Rayon is that we can also change their view. So we can either leave it at the front view, which is uh, how the cooktop looks at front view, and also the sink. We can also import the front view just like this, which is pretty cool. Now, both of these should be at uh, the same height. So we can move these upwards at the Y axis for 90 centimeters. So something like this. Now we can leave this as 
the marble here. This would be 0.3 meters. This would be somewhere around 0.03 meters. So three millimeters. We can also change the units if you wanted that. Uh, I think I will also move this a bit downwards, something like this. Now, right here, we won't be able to see much because we already have some, um, we basically have the wall. So I'll just uh, move this upwards, something like this, and I'll add a fill, a uh, lighter gray. So now I'll manually add all the cabinetry one by one. I'll also leave a 10 millimeter baseboard for the kitchen. So this will go all the way over there. So I've just sped that part up because it was basically me just drawing shapes and, and using fills. Now we also have these top cabinets right here, uh, which are uh, basically a wood material. So I think this goes starting from the sink all the way to the stove. Uh, we can just draw this like this. We can move this upwards for 60 centimeters. And now we can just divide this in a few parts. So if we go over here, this will be, I think 30 centimeters would be one of these and now we can multiply this around okay so now we can add a fill now as you've seen earlier there wasn't a certain type of a fill that we were looking for in terms of a uh, wood so we can go ahead and upload our own one add a folder here with some resources you can find a bunch of them online as well so we can go here and upload and then upload our own texture so we'll upload something like this and this is the wood texture that we uploaded. Now we could also make this smaller. Now make sure that these are seamless when they repeat as tiles because otherwise they will look uh, very unnatural. So let's go for 0 0.6, I think would look all right. And then we can also add uh, some sort of filters, which is a great option, just if we wanted to make these a bit brighter. And then if you wanted to make, a, make it a bit lighter, we can also lower uh, the opacity of it and now in the background uh, we can add the same texture we might just make it just a little bit darker we can also go ahead and add some sort of uh, indoor plant right here on the left so uh, this might need to be a front view so as you can see if you only want front views we can go here and filter by view we can make this a bit smaller not a bit but fine a bit because that's way too large and this has some sort of background here which is a bit lower than usual but we'll just use a regular rectangle from this side all the way up to here and now let's just add a fill and now I'll show you how we can add dimensions and annotations so let's go to dimension let's add multiple points so this would be chain that we can just click continuously on all of these so it would be something like this if we wanted to go all the way from down here from the floor and if you wanted vertical dimensions we could do something like this as well now if we actually wanted to import these uh, we can add a new page and this new page we will keep it an a4 we can keep the scale of these as 1 to 150 maybe we could also rotate this that way they are aligned so we can add the title block template here we can make this larger so we can just keep it uh, typed in here as um, kitchen elevation let's make this uh larger so 0.3 nice so now that we've drawn some basic shapes some basic stuff we've added some dimensions there are just so many possibilities in rayon it's just crazy how fast quick and customizable this software is we can go ahead and pages and then we can export this as a pdf or png let's go ahead and export this as a pdf we'll click export so this is how it was exported very very smooth very easy to navigate to and i absolutely love this personally so that is how you can create millwork drawings in rayon without needing to use any other software stylize it customize it super easily if you want to try it yourself you can use the link in the description and if you found this tutorial helpful please click the like button subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below thank you for watching the video and i will see you on the next one